director. Uh, he's from Sweden. He came to Detroit, and uh, I met him in '08, where he was starting this. He had started this film. He was telling me about, and so he was. He came to Detroit six times, and I was kind of reluctant about getting involved with it, but uh, he convinced me that he was going to do. You know, he's going to do his best, etc. And uh, well, he has because he's won so many awards with his film. Sixto Rodriguez dies. Searching for Sugarman hitmaker said this during Death Dove. Sixto Rodriguez, the musician and subject of the documentary Searching for Sugarman, has died aged 81. The Detroit-born singer's official website confirmed he died on Tuesday. Rodriguez launched his career in 1967 but initially struggled to find success in his native U.S. and was ultimately dropped by his record label. However, his music gradually developed a cult following overseas, and his records enjoyed significant sales and airplay in South Africa and Australia. Little was known about Rodriguez in the country despite his music being so popular, and false rumors had circulated that the singer had killed himself on stage in the 1970s. But Rodriguez was in fact still alive and well and living in Detroit, having returned to a life of relative obscurity and construction work. Despite his success in the country, Rodriguez only found out about his success in South Africa when his eldest daughter, Eva, came across a website dedicated to him in 1997 when the internet was still in its relative infancy. After contacting the website, Rodriguez went on his first South African tour in the late 1990s. The Mexican-American singer and guitarist was playing sold-out shows in the country's biggest arenas to thousands of fans and went on to perform a string of shows in Australia. In 2012, the Oscar-winning Searching for Sugarman saw two South African fans track Rodriguez down to see what had become of him. The rumor was that he was dead, one of the fans, Steven Segerman, told the BBC. To our shock, horror and delight, we found out that he actually wasn't dead, he was living in Detroit. We convinced him to come to South Africa to tour and he walked out on stage in front of stadiums full of screaming fans who sang every word of his lyrics, that was the beginning of his success. The release of the documentary, which depicted the story of Rodriguez discovering his own fame overseas, saw his career enjoy another resurgence, and he began touring and recording once again. The film prompted the two albums Rodriguez recorded in the early 1970s Cold Fact and Coming From Reality to become successful around the world four decades after their original release, and Rodriguez played festivals including Coachella and Glastonbury. A statement posted on his official website read, it is with great sadness that we at Sugarman.org announce that Sixto Diaz Rodriguez has passed away earlier today. We extend our most heartfelt condolences to his daughters Sandra, Eva and Regan and to all his family. Rodriguez was 81 years old. May his dear soul rest in peace. The musician's cause of death was not announced. Simon Chin, who produced Searching for Sugarman, described Rodriguez's death as such sad news. He was a true legend, and it was an honor to know him, he said. What a privilege to be able to share his amazing story with the world. Rip Rodriguez your music will live forever. South African musician David Scott, known as the Kifness, said Rodriguez was a legend with the most amazing life story. In the US he lived in relative obscurity, but was hugely popular in here South Africa without him ever knowing until much later on, he said. We will never witness a story like his in our lifetime again.